Welcome to the Pilates Show Mondays, where we bring our Pilates brain and body into the real world. I'm your host, Jennifer Gianni, and today we're going to be talking about courage and compassion. So this is a big subject, and we're going to be talking about how we incorporate uh, courage and compassion into little ways into our life. So I think of courage as speaking from the heart. And I think when I think of compassion, I think about going uh, gently towards our fears. So having compassion for ourselves, I don't think always means just avoiding what we're afraid of, but learning how to soften and accept and understand the things that we're afraid of. All right, and then how does this translate to the body, right? Because that's ultimately where we're going with this. So first, I like to think about, uh, when I'm thinking about what kind of activity that I wanna do for my body, I wanna line that up with courage and compassion. So when I'm thinking about, okay, how does my body feel today? What do I, what do I wanna do today with my body? What's gonna feel good? What's gonna benefit me the most? I really want to speak from my heart and I really want to be true. And you know, that takes a lot of courage because a lot of us will just put max where our adrenal system totally dies and we, we get exhausted. And in our culture, it is such a badge of courage to be exhausted and do a whole lot all the time. And we have to kind of step back. We have to have more courage and we have to really speak from our heart about what's gonna really be good for us. What kind of movement is gonna nourish us, is gonna energize us, and it's gonna keep us going. And that can be, it can be all sorts of things. It doesn't have to be necessarily release work or subtle movement. It could be one day you really need a vigorous workout. You need to sweat. You need to go outside and run around. But it's just kind of tapping into what you need. So I thought that we would just sample this out a little bit by talking about hip release. So hip release, second chakra, we all, we all hold lots of relationships <laughs> and tension uh, in our hips. And sometimes this area can be a real place of fear for us. And so we have to enter it with lots and lots of compassion. And we have to really know how far we wanna go into it and we have to know when to come out of it. So with the hip release that you guys have seen so many times on our site, um, you can go to the middle of your hip, kind of between the top of your hip and your trochanter. And I'm, I have a point right now. <laughs> and there's all uh, a number of different trigger points that you can hit. And your job when you find one is just to try to get heavy and released over it so that that spot of really intense sensation over a couple of inhales and exhales can relax and let go, right? But sometimes when you hit a spot that's like a real epicenter spot, it's not gonna work that way the first or the second or the third or the fourth time you go there. You have to consistently keep going back to that spot with compassion for yourself and compassion for your body, staying just the right amount of time and using the right amount of tension, right? It might even be a hot rice sock that you have at that place, but you really have to monitor what's right for your body. And I, I guarantee, because I have to do this with myself all the time, and it is self-practice every day. It's an intention every day. It's not something that naturally comes up in me but I really have to remind myself to have courage to speak from my heart about what I wanna do with my body and then inside what I choose to do, to have compassion, to not compete with myself or other people around me and not to push myself so hard. And this will create an easier, happier, more vibrant body. That's it for today. We'd love to hear from you comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or the forum on our site. See you next time and never stop learning.